Okay, quick um, video on some more cool exposed stuff. So I wanted to write some unit tests to basically make sure the data that I thought was being created, updated or deleted, wasn't having any um, downstream um, ramifications. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, what I did was I created use cases for creating, updating, deleting all the entities we have in our database. Database is very simple. It's um, basically books, authors, and print shops. A book can have many authors, and an author can have many books. A book can have um, one print shop, just to give you um, some exposure as to what we have here. And so uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that there is nothing being created without me knowing it or delete without me knowing it. So I created a quick little uh, method that um, would just go through and grab the counts of all the objects and store them. And then in all my tests, I was able to take a pre-count and then a post-count and then just make sure that um, the data um, matches up. So if I'm creating something, I just want to make sure that the, uh, this, in this case of creating an author, that the post um, count equals pre-count plus one more author. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, the other thing I did too is I wrote a couple of um, test methods just to make sure that my um, inbound request data matches what is produced on the outbound. So that I know that basically my uh, data is being saved or updated correctly. Right? So I did uh, tests, all the creates, um, in one in one file, deletes and updates in their own file, and we'll run them just to see right now. Show you how everything works. Um, what's nice about Expose? It's nice. And f I mean, I'm running off H2, but if you were to run instead of testing um, on the Spring Hibernate side, it would just take forever for Spring to spool up. This one, nice, instant, super fast. Okay. Um, let's look at one of the more complex creates just to walk you through um, how it works. And if we come here into our use case, basically, um, I've shown this stuff off before. Only thing of note is because of the many to many, this is how you pass it in um, through size collections. After it's been created, you can just say model.author equals um, the size collection. And what's neat about that is you'll notice I'm not touching author here. <laughs> so on the hibernate side, you'd have to say, Author dot books and the book, as well as um, book that authors, you know, add the author. Expose is doing it all for me, which is awesome. So there's less things to forget. So this one line of code sets up that many to many. All right. Um, also, on the print shop, all I'm doing is saying that on the book, I'm just saying this is my print shop. Um, we're checking on our test to make sure that the print shop. Um, has a reference to the uh, book that was created, and you saw that the test went out nicely. So you literally are saying, "Hey, you know, give me a print shop." And um, if there's no reference uh, to the newly created book, and I'm going by ID here, just return false. So if it wasn't, um, if there wasn't a reference to the new book on the print shop, the test would fail. And as you saw, they're all green. So real nice <laughs> when you do the, the, when you're creating the one to many. Um, all you got to do is act on one side, one side of that relationship. You don't have to do both sides, which is really nice. Um, the same goes with uh, updates. So if we look at the update, and we'll go down to the book again, because the book is the most complex. Um, we've changed around, we've removed an author. And when we went through and checked out the data at the end, um, the old... Um, list of authors, if you go through, they no longer reference the book that was deleted. And again, looking at the code, what's cool about it is um, all I did was I just pay, basically for authors, because if now because we're doing an update, not a create, I can do it in this transaction block. I passed in a size collection of the update author list, which is just basically me going through the request saying, hey, what are the authors? Let's get a list of, of authors. And then um, we pass that in as my authors list before the update. I'd have to go through and say, hey, you know, th 
this um, book no longer um, has this author as one of its authors. Therefore, I have to go into the author and then remove the book as well. Now, there's no there's no touching of the other end of the relationship. Just one relationship side was touched and exposed, handled it. Um, and then, once again, um, when I delete the books... I'm only handling one side of the relationship. I didn't have to go through all the authors and find out which ones still have this book and remove them within the transaction. Expose just did it all for me. Um, so that's pretty cool. One last thing. Um, I mean, actually, no last thing. That's enough. Um, it's probably boring anyway. But yeah, that was that's exposed. And all my data is secure and nothing else was created that I was expecting and when I did one delete nothing cascaded and ran away like crazy deleting a book didn't magically delete the author because your cascades are set up incorrectly um, very impressive and I think the best part is just because there's no spring and hibernate the tests are just run I mean these are all running off H2 but still there's no real up, um, spin up for the server it just runs nicely so that is an update on the um, KTOR exposed project that I've been working on. You can check the channel for previous videos if you're interested. Leave a comment if you have any. I'll try and get to them. Not the best, but uh, yeah.